right let's just start with the stress strain and young's modulus so there is a term which is called as the young's this you have to write on your copy so you can just write it down so there is something which is called as the young's modulus young's modulus is defined as the ratio of the stress by strain okay so that means what is young's modulus whatever stress is being induced okay what is strain strain it could be different type of strain but just to define it like we'll now define the linear strain so linear strain is suppose you are uh, hammering something right and the length changes so suppose earlier its length was 8 centimeters now after you went on hammering now its length is um, let's say 10 centimeters so what is the change in length change in length is 2 centimeters 10 minus 8 okay and divided by the original length so 2 divided by 8 this is going to be the strain so how much difference has been created per unit of the original length that is called as the strain okay what is stress stress is force per unit area whatever force is being applied per unit area of the substance that is the stress so that means stress is directly proportional to the force and strain it is always about the changes in the dimensions okay now Young's modulus is stress divided by strain that means Young's modulus is directly proportional to the stress that means if the stress is more Young's modulus is more or if the Young's modulus is more stress is more now what is the relationship of the Young's modulus with the strain inversely proportional that means if the Young's modulus is more the strain will be less okay now what is strain strain is the change in the length right so that means if the Young's modulus is more the change in the length will be less so will the material be more flexible or less flexible less flexible that means the material will be harder stiffer okay so that means Young's modulus you can just write it down Young's modulus is directly proportional to the rigidity okay just remember Young's modulus is directly proportional only to the rigidity to rest all of the terms it is inversely proportional okay so Young's modulus is directly proportional to the rigidity rest all of the terms it is inversely proportional now when I say all of the terms what are those terms number one flexibility so if Young's modulus is more flexibility is less Young's modulus it is inversely proportional to the flexibility the other thing Young's modulus is inversely proportional to the elasticity as well what is elasticity you just stretch a rubber band elastic rubber band it, it, it regains its original position as soon as you leave it okay so that is the elasticity that means Young's modulus is inversely proportional to elasticity as well also Young's modulus is inversely proportional to the ductility because what is ductility it's like drawing into wires and it, it is the strain okay so it's inversely proportional to the ductility and what did we say we say we said flexibility will determine the undercut needed for the RPD so Young's modulus is also inversely proportional to the undercut needed okay and it is also inversely proportional to the proportional limit the term that we will define later on so just remember one thing Young's modulus is directly proportional only to the rigidity rest all of the things that you will come across it will be inversely proportional to them okay now uh, the next thing that we need to know is um, the undercut needed what is the undercut needed for different materials so I told you just a bit I said a uh, cast and rod the main difference is that for example cast is like a bulk material and when you tamper that material it's like a thin rope like thing and that that thing the tampering part is called as the cold working so when you cold work on a mass or a bulk of material and it gets kind of drawn into the wire wire or sheet so that is when you start calling it as the wrought metal so that means you cold work the cast metal to convert it into the wrought metal this is the simplest explanation 
okay so after cold working on the cast metal it gets converted into the wrought metal this is the simplest explanation that you can give right so just remember a uh, few of the uh, these series not not the exact series you need first of all always remember which is the material which is the um, most rigid among all the materials that we use for the rpd clasps which is the material which is more rigid cast chrome okay let's first do the young's modulus young's modulus maximum is of cobalt chromium or cast chrome then after that the smaller is wrought metals okay and then you have the gold same way is the stiffness right so then is the undercut needed undercut needed is opposite so wrought gold wrought golds will have always the maximum undercuts and the cobalt chromium or the cast chrome it will have the minimal undercut i uh, just write down the flexibility uh, series flexibility series it will be or you can say which needs a maximum undercut maximum undercut wrought gold then wrought metal yes wrought metal because wrought's will always be more flexible and then cast gold and then cast metal yes flexibility or the undercut needed will be maximum for wrought gold then the wrought metal for example stainless steel wrought stainless steel okay wrought metal then cast gold then cast metals that is the cast uh, chrome okay stress is internal force opposing the load now what is it uh, i just said in the beginning of the lecture i said stress is force per unit area so force per unit area how did this force come because you applied something from the external environment on the material and as an opposite reaction the material applied an internal force right if the material could not apply enough internal force then what will happen the external force will be stronger and it will cause some dimensional change in the material if the external force is not stronger than the internal force then the material will not undergo any dimensional change fine so what is stress stress is when you apply an external load on the material that is when you apply force on the material how much of the internal force was kind of generated okay so stress always remember it is force per unit area as a result of the load applied right so that force is the internal reaction not the external load that you are applying what you, the force that you are applying from outside that is called as load and the force that is being generated from the inside of the material that will be defined as simple force internal force okay so never confuse between these term uh the next one that you have is the strain 